Governments own Bitcoin. In fact, a lot of governments all over the world have pretty large bags. Some bought the Bitcoin, some mined it. Others seized it from their citizens, and one holds Bitcoin even though it is illegal for their population to do so. In this list, we'll be covering 8 governments that collectively hold almost 500,000 Bitcoin. 4.2% of the total supply, worth a cool $12 billion at today's prices. So let's get into it. Here are the governments that hold the biggest Bitcoin bags. Number 8. Georgia, 100 Bitcoin. Georgia, the small European nation, not the US state, is not a country that comes to mind when you think Bitcoin powerhouse. Believe it or not, as recently as 2018, Georgia was the second largest Bitcoin mining country in the world behind only China. How does a former Soviet Union country, with a population of just 3.7 million people, achieve such a forward-thinking digital strategy? Well, there are two simple reasons. The first is cheap hydroelectric power generated in the mountainous country, and the second is very little regulation. These two factors are music to any Bitcoin miner's ears, and the government picked up a few pieces of digital gold along the way while its citizens and indigenous companies were mining Bitcoin over the years. Number 7. Finland, 1,981 Bitcoin. The Nordic nation of Finland holds a decent Bitcoin bag, 1,981 coins with a value of $52.5 million today. How do they get their bag though? That's kind of a funny story. In 2016, Finnish police executed a drug bust operation, shutting down a large criminal gang who were dealing illegal narcotics and taking Bitcoin as payment. They confiscated the Bitcoin, 1,666 to be exact, at a time when its value was just $750,000. Fast forward seven years, and a few more minor seizures later, and the government is sitting on almost 2,000 whole coins. But they have no intention of hodling. Finnish Finance Minister Annika Sariko tweeted last year that the Bitcoin bag would be sold in full and the proceeds would be donated to the Ukraine. What a nice gesture. Number 6. El Salvador. 9,500 Bitcoin. We all knew this was going to be on the list. The Central American nation is probably the most famous Bitcoin-friendly government, having declared the currency as legal tender back in April 2021. President Nayib Bukele has become a cult hero in the Bitcoin community, with many believing that El Salvador is a shiny example to other small nations who feel hard done by by the global dollar-based financial system. Expect the country's Bitcoin holdings to only increase from here. President Bukele has already set in motion plans to set up one of the largest Bitcoin mining operations in the world in El Salvador all of which will be powered by geothermal energy. Who knows? Maybe in the future, El Salvador will be one of the richest nations on Earth. Number 5. Bhutan. 10,000 to 12,000 Bitcoin. This one is very interesting. The isolated Himalayan nation of Bhutan revealed in 2023 that they had actually been mining Bitcoin using their vast excesses of hydro-powered renewable energy since 2017. That is six years worth of large-scale mining. Even more interesting, it was revealed in the bankruptcy cases of crypto lenders Celsius and BlockFi that the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Bhutan, Druk Holding and Investments, have poured millions into both Bitcoin and Ethereum in recent years. While the country remained very quiet on their operations. It was estimated by Forbes magazine that the amount of equipment purchased by the country was enough to build a mining facility the size of several large football fields. The decision makes sense though. 30% of their annual GDP comes from the export of renewable energy. If they can get a better price for the energy by mining Bitcoin, then why not? Number 4. North Korea 30,000 Bitcoin. Kim Jong-un's communist country of North Korea have a huge Bitcoin bag. But a country known for an inconsistent power grid, famine and poor living standards are not mining the coins, nor are they engaging in an on-chain transfer for export or trade. Quite simply, North Korea's Bitcoin bag is almost all as a result of hacking. The BBC estimates that the communist country obtained $1.7 billion worth of crypto from hacks in 2022. That was up from $450 million in 2021. To put this into context, the value of the country's exports in 2021 was just $142 million, making crypto hacking the largest portion of the country's economy. It's not legal or fair, but let's face it, would you take on a country with nuclear weapons to try and get your Bitcoin back? No, me neither. Number 3. Ukraine. 49,000 Bitcoin. The Eastern European country of Ukraine has become a crypto-friendly nation under very unfortunate circumstances. After the conflict with Russia began in early 2021, the government began accepting donations of crypto assets in all denominations, not just Bitcoin, to fund their defense efforts and support the civil population. In just one year, they received over 140,000 crypto assets, with Bitcoin making up the majority of these. It wasn't just the government, though. 
Ukrainian citizens embraced Bitcoin by pure necessity. The conflict crashed their local currency, the hryvna, and locals had no choice but to seek out alternatives to protect their purchasing power. Number two, the Chinese government, 194,775 Bitcoin. Despite a countrywide ban on Bitcoin, the Chinese Communist Party holds a substantial Bitcoin bag. All of these coins were obtained as a result of seizures, specifically from a crypto Ponzi scheme Plus token originated in China in 2018 and was shut down by the government in 2019, leaving them with an almost 200,000 Bitcoin, which is valued at over $3 billion today. It doesn't stop at Bitcoin. China holds a lot of altcoins too. It is estimated that the government holds a bag made up of 833,000 ETH, 1.4 million Litecoin, 27.6 million EOS, 74,000 Dash, 487 million XRP, 6 billion Doge, 79,000 BCH, and 213,000 USDT, which technically speaking makes them Dogecoin millionaires. And number one, the US government, 205,515 Bitcoin. This isn't a mistake. Uncle Sam is the largest known government holder of Bitcoin. It seems kind of a contradiction, as many vouch for Bitcoin to replace the US dollar as the global reserve currency. The United States is, at this moment, holding one point 0.04% of the total circulating supply of Bitcoin. This substantial bag is greater than MicroStrategy's holdings of 140,000 coins and has a value today at $5.5 billion. Earlier in 2023, they actually had 215,000 Bitcoin. Analytics firm Glassnode noted that 10,000 coins were moved in March to Coinbase. It is unclear what will become of this stash, all of which was collected through seizures from illegal activities, including the Silk Road website, Bitfinex, Hacker James Song, and others. They have sold off portions of seized Bitcoin in the past, but we hope they hold on to them for the long run. Were you surprised by any country on this list? Maybe you didn't even know that governments around the world, particularly large anti-crypto governments, such as the US and China, held Bitcoin. Bitcoin. Even if they don't like the digital currency, for insurance reasons, it does make sense to hold a bag just in case. If the price of Bitcoin appreciates rapidly, you don't want a sworn enemy of your country getting rapidly richer than you in a short period of time. One thing that should be clear though, Bitcoin isn't going anywhere. Governments know this, and despite what they may say publicly, many are filling their bags behind the scenes. Who do you think is the next to add Bitcoin to their country's balance sheet? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on Know About Crypto.